It's about time we go over the solution to the final weekly math challenge of the year 2018. Now, this is one of the longer problem statements, so please bear with me. A Schroeder path of semi-length n, which is a positive integer, is a lattice path from 0, 0 to 2 and 0 on a Cartesian plane, such that we take only the steps of the form 1, 1, 1, negative 1, and 2, 0, while never dipping below the x-axis. We will represent 1, 1 by u, 1, negative 1 by d, and 2, 0 by h, h, as shown. So we have up, down, and we have double horizontal. So in this case, we are going from 0, 0 to 4, 0. So in this case, our n is 2. So we have an example of a Schroeder path of semi-length 2 shown right here. Thus, u, u, h, h, d, d, u, 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 d, 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 and u, h, h, d, u, d, or Schroeder path of semi-length 3. I highly encourage you to try to visualize these. For example, u, h, h, d, u, d is u, h, h, d, u, d. You can tell it's a Schroeder path. It goes back down and it never goes below the axis. But u, d, d, u, and u, h, d, h, and u, u, h, h, d are not valid shorter paths because, for example, u, d, d, u dips below the x-axis, that's not allowed. u, h, d, h, well, we can only have h, h, whenever we have h, it has to occur in a pair. And u, u, h, h, d, well, we're not going all the way back down in this case. We, you want to go all the way back down to the x-axis. Okay, so now that we know what a Schroeder path is, what's the question? A Schroeder path Q contains a Schroeder path S if S is a subsequence of Q. For example, u, u, d, h, h, d, u, u, d, d contains u, u, h, h, d, d as shown. Q avoids S if Q does not contain S. And here is the final question. Let S sub n be the number of Schroeder paths of semi-length n that avoid u d u d u d u d u u d d and h h h h h h. So we have three conditions. Find the last three digits of, of course, S sub 2018. Now, before we actually dive into and start exploring this jungle of pattern avoidance, I want to take this time to recognize Reynolds45, who was the first person to correctly answer this question last week. A huge congratulations to Reynolds45. Turning our attention back to the problem, there are a few points I want to make. First of all, this 2018 is a semi-length, it's not length. So there are actually 40, 36 letters to worry about instead of 2018. Let's keep that in mind. And also we have to remember that H's come in pairs. Now having made those basic statements, I'm now going to make a claim that the desired shorter path that avoids all of them can contain either 0 HH's, 1 HH or 2 HH's, and no more. Why is that? Well, that's not too hard because we are trying to avoid HHHHHH. Once we have three HHs, obviously we have to contain HHHHHH inside. So we have one of these choices. And now, one of the things we may realize is that we don't really have to focus on any shorter paths, but we can really focus on shorter paths without HHs because the two of the patterns that we are trying to avoid do not contain H's. So once we find a Schroeder path without HH's that avoid UD, 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 and UD, UUDD, then we can just add in 0 H's or 1 HH's or 2 HH's to get the Schroeder path that we want. So we are not going to worry about HH's until near the end of the solution. And there is actually a special name for shorter paths without HHs, they are called dick paths. You don't have to know this, but it's easier for me to say dick paths instead of shorter paths without HHs every single time. So basically, the problem comes down to finding the number of dick paths that avoid the two of the patterns that we were given, UDUDUD UD, UD, and UDUUDD. UD, UD, UD. 
And of course, we want to find a formula for this number based on the semi-length n. Just as we used s sub n to denote the number of shorter paths that avoid certain things, we will give this a name. Let's call this entire thing d sub n. Going back up, in particular, we care about d sub 2018, d sub 2017, and d sub 2016, because when we have 0 HHs, the entire path is going to be a thick path of semi-length 2018. If we have 1 HH, that's 1 semi-length of Hs, the rest of them has to be a thick path of semi-length 2017. And the same thing here, we have 2 semi-lengths of HHs, and we care about a thick path of semi-length 2016, so the entire semi-length is 2018. But instead of finding d sub 2016 through d sub 2018, we will actually find a formula for d sub n, which is, as we are about to see, going to be pretty elegant. So how do we find the d sub n? Well, there are a variety of ways of going about this, but I think one of the easiest ways is to realize that for a dick path to avoid ud 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 and ud uudd, after the first d, there can be at most one u. This is a pretty powerful assertion, and I encourage you to pause the video and ponder, think about why this must be true. And the reason is as follows. So we are going to start with how many u's, then we are going to have our first d, we can have as many d's as we want after that, as long as we don't have more d's than u's, because if we have more d's than u's, then we're gonna go below the x-axis. And after that, if we have two u's in a row, then we eventually have to have at least two d's to balance it out, to get us back down to the x-axis. But in this case, we are going to contain u d u u d d as shown. So we are not allowed to have two consecutive u's after the first d. How about having one u, then a bunch of d's, then another u? Well, in this case, we are going to have to have eventually 1d to balance out this u, and we see that we now contain ud, 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 which is a contradiction. So we cannot have two consecutive u's, two u's separated by d's, so there can be at most one u after the first d, and we had to use both of these conditions to prove that. And now we are almost done in finding d sub n. How do we find it? Well, to begin with, if we have a dick path of semi-length n, you know you're going to have n u's and n d's, so everything balances out and you are back down on the x-axis. And you know, after the first d, there is either 0 or 1 u, so there has to be at least n minus 1 u's to start it off. So you have n minus 1 u's in a row, I'll write it as u to the n minus 1 power, then we have this string of n d's. And now we have some options. Realize that we have one more u to put in the sequence to finish it off. We can either put the final u before every single d's. This is the case where after the first d, we have zero u's because every u is before the d's. Or we can have u between the first and the final d. That's the case where there is exactly one u after the first d. So basically, we can have our u before the first d, before the second d, before the third d, all the way to before the nth d. So there are n possibilities. Which means that d sub n, the number of dick paths of semi-length n avoiding these two patterns, is exactly n. Beautiful. So, now let's really finish it up. So we know d sub 2018 is 2018, d sub 2017 is 2017, d sub 2016 is 2016. Comes out very nicely. So let's start the casework. The number of shorter paths with zero HHs such that the dick path avoids these two patterns. Well, that's 2018. We know that. The second one, we have one HH and we have a dick path of semi-length 2017. So we have here 40, 34 letters for the dick path, 2017 times 2, and we have one more letter 
thinking of HH as one thing. So we have here 4035. 4035 letters to worry about. So how you can think about putting 1H is that we have 1, 2 all the way to 4035 spots and we are picking one of them and putting in HH and then in the rest of the spots you are putting in a dig path, one of the 2017 dig paths that avoids UD, UD, UD and UD, UUDD. So something like this. So how can we count this? Well, we have 40, 35 choices to put HHs, and for the remaining spots, we have a 2017 dig path available. Let's move on to the final case. Here we have a dig path of semi-length 2016, so we have 40, 32 letters, and we have two more of them. So we have 40, 34 spots to worry about. So let's erase this 40, 35th spot. So here, out of 40, 34 spots, we are picking two of them to put in HHs, and for the remaining spots, you are just putting in some dig path inside. So counting this is almost like the case before. Out of 40, 34 spots, we are choosing two of them to put in HHs, and for the remaining 2016 times two spots, we can put in one of the 2016 dig path that we want. And here we have it. This is S sub 2018. And now we only have to find the last three digits. So you can either bash this out, just multiply out the entire thing and find the last three digits. But it's easier to use modular arithmetic. So 2018, we only care about 18. 40, 35, we only care about 35. 2017, we only care about 17. And 40, 34, choose 2. That's 40, 34 times 40, 33 over 2, also known as, when you divide it out, 2017 times 40, 33. And this is basically 17 times 33 times 16. And let's see if I can do this. 18 plus 35 times 17, 5 plus 21, that's 26, 5, 6, and you add 35, that's 595. And 17 times 16, that's, that's not too bad, that's 272. And to that, you're multiplying 33. And here, let's break it down into 30 plus 3. When we multiply 272 by 30, we're going to get 0, 6, 7 times 3 is 21, so you have 160. Multiply 272 by 3, that's going to get us 8, 16. Add it up, 9, 76, which is in mod 1000, negative 24. So we have 18 minus 24, or negative 6, plus 595. For the final answer, 5. 89 mod 1000. So that's the last three digits of S sub 2018. So our final answer is 589 and we are done.